Especially in, after we have created our shape file, uh, we can have uh, uh, some small error uh, or some uh, small mistake in the uh, vectorization of the shape file. And we will see it soon. Um, now we will uh, we will uh, create uh, a new field. We will add a new field to the uh, to our shape file, and this field will compute the area of each polygon. Okay, so you have your shape file, Cavone Subbasin, and you can see the attribute table. The attribute table. Okay, I have one, but we will do. Uh, if you do open table, uh, let me. If we do open table, you see uh, you should not have area yet. Okay, is it okay for you? You don't have area. The area field. What we will do? We will create uh, this uh, uh, new field. And uh, uh, we will do it from QGIS again. Are you all in this uh, page or not? Are you all uh, on the screen? Yes, yeah. more or less? Uh, so what we do is to... No, but it's to... It's to click... <coughs> on the uh, toggle editor, edit on more. Uh, what we will do is to select uh, the, uh, this icon which stands for create new field, or you can just type Ctrl V, W. And it will ask you a few uh, information about the new field that we want to create. The first thing is to give the name of the field and we will call it area. <coughs> In the comments, you can add, for example, that the area will be in, in kilometer square. The format <coughs> of the, the data type, we will select decimal number. And then he asks you how many digits you want to have. We can put uh, 10, for example, and we can put 2 for the precision. Is this OK for you? If this is OK, you can just run uh, type OK, and it will create a new field. And the name uh, for you will be area, of course. For me, area 2, because I already had one field that uh, was area. OK. So what, what we will do now is to fill the field that we just have created and to do that we will uh, select the field which is 1.2 in your case and will be area and uh, we will add a formula that computes the area and it computes the area for each of the polygon of the shape file so for each of our subbases uh, to do that you can just uh, click on the epsilon function and write the function, the expression here. And what we write is uh, uh, dollar area capital R A. And then just this command will provide you the uh, polygon area in square meters, but we would like to have it in kilometers square. So uh, we will divide by uh, 10 to minus 6. So 
like that. It's uh, everything clear now, more or less, yes. Uh, so we just type OK. should have your uh, computation and you should get get some numbers there hopefully no update all first. yes update all yeah. you should click on update all and it will update your field and it will add uh, your uh, Value. And then to close, so please, it's just for me, it's just that I already had one uh, area. So you just have to click on save edits and again on toggle editing mode that will close everything. So first on the save and then on again on the toggle editing mode and then you close it uh, now if you reopen your table your attribute table you should have again your uh, field with area and ID is this okay? Good. so this is done Okay, this is done for everyone. <coughs>